actually it is not that the meditation is giving us anything but it allows us to uh, enter in contact or to recover some of our mind capacities it is uh, important to um, see again uh, from time to time what is uh, or how we define meditation because nowadays uh, it has become a, a business product which is sold under many different uh, uh, name and uh, it's a little bit um, everything and nothing. So of course it is good uh, that meditation becomes popular and that uh, a large amount of people can find some benefit in relaxing the mind and uh, become more uh, peaceful. Uh, but it is much more than that. It uh, can really help us to uh, go deeper within our own mind and uh, our own possibilities. There are different types of meditations and uh, we could divide them somehow uh, in uh, a concentrative type of meditation and uh, analytic type of meditation. So the concentrative meditation is that meditation during which we focus on a single point and we uh, try to keep our mind uh, concentrated, single pointedly concentrated. And the analytical type of meditation, uh, we take not an object of concentration, but we take a subject and we try to analyze and uh, debate within uh, within ourselves uh, around that single subject so we can decide uh, to analyze uh, compassion or to analyze some specific um, emotions or we can meditate on the reality the nature of our reality and such so meditation is different than thinking or just thinking in that we remain very concentrated and focus on what we uh, want to achieve. So the point is not just to sit down and, and have a random way of thinking, but to train our minds to be well concentrated uh, and from that concentration, it will allow us to go deeper into whatever topic later on we can uh, meditate on. This concentration, uh, we can see on a daily basis how much it, um, this lack of concentration, how much it, it affects our, our daily life because uh, we have difficulty to solve some problems or some situations, even though basic sometimes. Uh, because our mind is constantly jumping from thought to thought. In order to um, engage into a meditation, we uh, often uh, explain how we need to actually focus our thoughts and control our mind. And sometimes this word, uh, control, um, makes uh, some people to react because uh, they have the feeling that when you control the mind, you are losing a kind of uh, freedom. But uh, we can ask ourselves if actually we are free at the first place, uh, free to place our mind where we really decide to. If we try to think uh, about one topic or if we want to engage into the resolution of one situation, how many seconds or how many minutes can we really uh, remain focused? Uh, most of the time, uh, we are thinking for a few um, seconds uh, on, on something and jumping on another thoughts and coming back on what we were thinking about and then we jump on something else and so on. Within one minute, we can have uh, several thoughts and several different topics. 
So we can see that as a matter of fact, we are not free of um, placing our mind where we would like it to be and for the time we would like it to be. And because of this lack of capacity, of course, uh, it makes us, uh, it gives us uh, difficulty to solve important uh, situation and it does not allow us to understand very subtle topics. So actually when we uh, start meditating and we apply a certain control over our mind and uh, as time passes we have a better control of our mind, we are not losing any freedom, we are gaining freedom. And that's an important factor is that meditation does not limit anything within ourselves. At the contrary, it will expand our capacities. So the old work that, uh, that we are uh, setting when starting meditating or when developing our meditation is uh, pacifying the mind and expanding our capacity to uh, perceive and understand. Another very important point uh, that meditation brings us to uh, develop is this capacity of being aware of the present moment. And that is a very important factor because uh, uh, it is only in the present moment that we are creating karma, that we are creating causes that we will experience the result later on. We are not creating karma in the past, which is gone, and we are not creating karma in the future, which is not yet there. The only moment and the most important moment during which we are creating karma is the present moment. And knowing the importance of uh, the karmic causes we are accumulating constantly, um, we understand the importance of being aware of what type of uh, causes we are generating. If you are more aware of your own mind, moment after moment, you are aware of which type of thoughts you generate and uh, if you want to allow that type of thoughts or not. And consequently, you become more aware of which type of uh, karma, positive or negative karma, you, uh, you are generating and either you want to continue to generate this type of karma or not. So we were talking about pacification of the mind as one of the important um, necessity uh, at the same time within our everyday life and for our spiritual development. Because our mind is not pacified, we are engaging uh, into negative um, situation or saying things we will regret or uh, or we have difficulty to understand some some topics so that will be one uh, of um, the first step uh, of our meditation is um, pacifying our thoughts uh, this will be a very progressive um, path from wherever we are now till uh, our mind is not disturbed anymore by anything. Within the concentrative method, uh, one of the method is to uh, focus on our own mind. We become an observer of whatever is happening uh, in our own mind. We observe the thoughts, but we do not seize any of them. So some thoughts might arise, but we are not focusing at all on them, thus they disappear. We are not feeding them. We try to remain, remain focused primarily on the present moment of our mind. The second method is to use uh, um, a visualized uh, object of meditation. So in front of us, we will visualize an object on which we will place the mind and uh, keep the mind on. Of course, within um, 
a usual session of meditation, which starts about 20 minutes. Uh, the mind will very often leave this concentrated object, visualize object, uh, follow some of the thoughts, and then we will realize that the mind has gone somewhere else. We will bring back the mind on the visualized object and so on, which is normal because we are not used to uh, to meditate and we are not used to concentrate and we are even less used to visualize so to use our creative aspects of the mind uh, but as difficult as it can be at the beginning we should uh, remember that it is possible because many people have achieved a very good state of concentration in the past and in the present and so uh, we need to have uh, perseverance. Without this perseverance, uh, we will uh, easily fall into a kind of um, of uh, frustration, and from the frustration, we might abandon the meditative work. Uh, we uh, often, uh, um, when we start meditating, um, it could appear as if our mind gets more disturbed than before. So from time to time, I hear people telling me this. Uh, since I started to meditate, uh, my mind appears much more disturbed than before, which is not the case. It is simply that uh, we are becoming more aware of the disturbance. So it is a normal process. Um, as we become uh, more aware, of our minds, we discover how much it was disturbed before and easily disturbed by uh, either um, thoughts or little noise outside of the room or uh, little pain here and there. So even if at the beginning the meditation is not clear and it is not uh, well uh, concentrated, uh, we need to have the discipline to maintain it uh, days after days, uh, month after month, uh, I would say years after years. Month after month, we will see how the mind is getting a little bit more concentrated and uh, becoming a little bit more calm, but it will take years before to really start to meditate properly. I hear also sometimes people saying, I cannot visualize, I cannot see a picture. Whenever I try to concentrate on an, ob on an object, uh, it is uh, either uh, completely black, uh, either very blur, which is normal as well. You should not be worried about it. Uh, the capacity to visualize is underdeveloped usually. We are not used to it. So it will take some time before to be able to see something. But eventually you will succeed in this because it is a capacity everybody has. Discipline, uh, self-discipline is something very important in meditation. Uh, we are not talk talking about um, having one session of meditation a week uh, or a month. We are talking about meditating every day. It's a little bit like with uh, the practice of a sport or the practice of yoga. If you want to achieve some results, it is not once upon a time that you practice. It's uh, as often as you can, and eventually every day in order to make uh, our stiff muscles more supple. In this case, uh, our mind is a very stiff muscle, and it is only by the practice that we can accomplish it. So every single day, it is important to have a time that uh, we keep for our meditation once or even better twice a day. And um, besides this uh, formal meditation that we will um, try to have regularly every day, uh, it is also important to remember about meditation several times or as many times as possible throughout the day. So to do not have a, a too long period of time without applying a certain control or a certain awareness uh, over our mind. Ultimately, uh, 
meditation will be not just one moment of our day, but will be developed as a state of mind in which we will remain uh, constantly. In that way, having uh, a concentrated mind, we will uh, avoid entering into anger <clears throat> or entering into any uh, negative uh, or disturbing emotions. Having less and less disturbed emotions, the mind will be uh, more and more um, pacified, more and more happy also. And um, from both uh, our uh, daily life and the karmic uh, consequences, it will improve. So we can see that uh, through meditation, we can actually uh, improve uh, our awareness and uh, improve um, our quality of life. Having a more pacified mind and a better concentrated mind, we will be able to um, start analyzing some subtle topics uh, such as uh, the formable truth, uh, karma, or uh, the nature of reality. As well, having a, a more pacified mind will allow us to generate uh, bodhicitta, the motivation to, to help all sentient beings. Without a correct meditation, without a correct concentration and pacification of the mind, these kind of subtle topics cannot be really uh, understood and cannot be uh, realized. Of course, we can understand uh, intellectually, we can uh, understand uh, the words about uh, the nature of reality, for example, but without a proper meditation, we will not be able to uh, go deep enough in that topic to realize it, to actualize it within our mind. This is a specific ability of the meditation to make us switch from intellectual understanding uh, into experience. You can understand uh, a topic very well. You can uh, reach the point, you can explain it very well. It does not mean you have realized it, which means it doesn't mean you have applied it uh, within yourself. That's also why we say that uh, we should be careful with people who uh, explain things very well and pretend to understand them very deeply. Instead, it is important to also observe how much they apply it in their daily life because it uh, makes a big difference. So we could say that without meditation, without proper meditation, there is no higher realizations. So if we want to um, uh, go uh, on the spiritual path, if we want to develop and if we want to realize, our goals, spiritually speaking, such as Buddhahood, we need to pass by, we need to start meditating. However you find meditation difficult uh, at the beginning, uh, always remember that if, if you do not start and if you do not apply, you will never reach any results. So it is good to start and to maintain the practice till we reach the goal, the complete pacification and concentration of the mind. I will not enter here uh, today into the nine stages which brings us to a completely pacified mind. This you can uh, uh, read uh, books or text uh, about this uh, nine stage to Shine. It explains uh, how the mind will progressively pacify and concentrate, uh, increasing the moment of concentration, decreasing the moment of uh, disturbance, till reaching a completely pacified mind. But without to enter into this, uh, these nine stages, it is important to mention 
what goes against meditation and namely the two disturbance um, agitation of the mind and um, dullness so when we try to meditate when we start to meditate uh, the way it uh, can happen is either the mind will get disturbed by different thoughts then we lose completely the object of meditation or by dullness so the object of meditation become unclear and uh, we get a little bit confused and then we fall asleep constantly we try to be aware of these two uh, poison for the meditation uh, to recognize them as quickly as possible so there is a type of awareness which we set from the beginning of the meditation uh, which scan somehow our mind uh, always remaining aware to see if the mind gets disturbed, agitated, or if it is uh, falling asleep. And if ever we are spotting any of these two, then we apply the right antidote, we strengthen our concentration, we uh, pacify uh, a little bit further our mind. So we can see that uh, meditation is uh, a kind of unavoidable tool so if you have not started yet meditating i can only but encourage you to to do it and if you have already started then maintain it uh, strengthen it as it is the way to progress a mistake in uh, in which we often fall when we start uh, our path of meditation is uh, to be tensed so to experience a kind of tension within ourselves uh, we have a certain tension because we are expecting to have a very um, precise result of our meditation from the beginning whereas it will be a progressive uh, development so even if at the beginning your meditation or your concentration is not perfect you should not be frustrated you should not be annoyed that uh, you cannot reach uh, immediately this uh, state of meditation at the same time you are expressing uh, a certain work to control better your your thoughts to be more aware of your thoughts but at the same time you should not uh, generate any tension about this work and we can understand that to be uh, angry or to be frustrated uh, while we are meditating it is uh, counterproductive so meditation is not the only technique of course that that we use uh, on the spiritual path in order to um, achieve a higher state of mind but this is the uh, this is a cornerstone of the path so even if you are uh, reading uh, books about uh, higher topics in in dharma or in buddhism in general um, you should uh, uh, develop your meditation because uh, uh, as long as the meditation is not uh, achieved or the pacification of the mind is not achieved whatever you have read remain just like words in your mind it cannot be transferred into experience it is really meditation that will uh, that will uh, allow um, any seed of spirituality to uh, to to develop and to blossom once the mind will be uh, pacified and concentrated well enough whenever you will engage into the analysis of subtle topics it will allow you to go much deeper and to switch much quicker from uh, from your analysis uh, into the experience of what you were analyzing but that's why i emphasize a lot and heavily on meditation because without it 
um, everything else is um, a theory. I know that some people would like to uh, study sometimes some higher Vajrayana practices and uh, very developed techniques of um, breathing and visualizing about chakras and so on. It's surely quite exciting for the mind. Without proper concentration, it will not bear any fruit. When we are building a house, uh, we are a little bit impatient, of course, to see the, the final house and to be able to enter into it and see every rooms and enjoy every rooms. But if we do not start by the foundation, we will never be able to uh, set up the walls and the roof. It is. Uh, it does not make sense to start by building uh, the top of the house uh, without to have achieved uh, the proper foundation, as we can logically understand. Uh, from the spiritual point of view, it is the same. So often and often, as often as you can, apply your mind uh, into meditation, into pacification of the mind and awareness of your thoughts. Uh, for some of you, what I have been talking about in the past hour uh, does not bring anything new, but listening about meditation again and again uh, remind ourselves of the work we might not be very um, stable at yet. From time to time, there are um, people who would say, um, I'm listening, teachings, and I don't see things very much new. I hear again and again about meditation, about pacification of the mind, about bodhicitta, about this and that. And, um, and some of them even leave the room because it's not interesting for them anymore. I'm sorry for them, of course, if they leave the, the teaching room, uh, but, um, it does not make sense for me to go further as long as meditation is not stabilized, is not well developed enough. So we will talk about meditation again and again, as long as really we, we master our own mind and, uh, and then we can continue further. Remember or keep in mind that um, meditating properly is uh, the best the key to uh, open all the different possibilities and capacities of our mind. If you have a very good uh, self-discipline, uh, you can only meditate at home. Uh, but I would encourage to join some meditation groups from time to time uh, to stimulate your motivation for meditating and uh, to benefit from the group energy. And if you have not done this yet, uh, try to take uh, a kind of uh, vow or a kind of commitment, which is not to uh, go to sleep at night without having meditating. So to really have at least one moment of meditation every day. Some days, uh, because of our schedule, because of our busy life, uh, our meditation time might not be so good. Uh, it might be just five minutes and not very well concentrated, but we should do it. Some people would say it is better not to do a meditation than to do a bad meditation, but I, dis not, I, I do not agree with that. It is better to do always a good meditation and uh, but if we cannot at least to do something if you don't make a good meditation you can end up your your meditation by telling yourself this was not so good i'm not very happy about this meditation tomorrow i will do better but you will have maintain your commitment of meditating every day Definitely, there are some moments in our life when we have more time for spiritual practice, uh, informal practice, and some days we have less time. But let's remain aware every single day 
about our mind and our possibility to meditate. All right, I think I have covered what I wanted to tell you about meditation. It's actually not easy to just talk about meditation. Uh, it is uh, also important to practice uh, meditation, so to apply whatever we know about meditation as often as possible. Of course, uh, practicing um, meditation doesn't mean we don't um, do anything else along our path. As we strengthen our meditation, we also uh, continue to uh, do our formal practices and to uh, generate as often as possible bodhicitta, the, the, the proper, most compassionate uh, motivation. Meditation per se is not uh, a Buddhist tool. Yes, it, uh, it is practiced in many other traditions. What we'll make of it a, Buddhi uh, a Buddhist practice is when we uh, apply meditation uh, with Buddhist topics. As a matter of fact, we can develop meditation without any spiritual uh, goal, just to have um, a more focused mind, but then it will not help us to spiritually develop. So try to apply meditation as often as possible, formally once in the morning and once in the evening, and throughout the day, maybe shorter type of meditation, when you just have to walk from the car to the office or to the shop, then try to meditate on walking and be present uh, in every moment of walking. As the meditation is not just a sitting cross-legged with a little light and little incense, of course. It's uh, in every situation of our daily life, we can apply meditation. As often as possible, we need to remember about meditating, especially in moments uh, when we would not meditate I mean, when we are challenged by somebody angry at us or by an unpleasant or painful situation, uh, we should make an extra effort to uh, develop our meditative state uh, during this moment. So I wish you a very good practice of meditation. And uh, beside uh, today's uh, teaching, if you have any question regarding this matter, do not hesitate to uh, send them to me by all the electronic means that you know already. It can take some time, some time that I answer, but usually I do. All right, good. Let's dedicate the merits of this teaching for the benefit of all sentient beings. <laughs>